animal lovers, Yorkshire's stunning landscape is the perfect place to have pets. But not all favor the four-legged variety. Meet Lynn Pickles. Look, we've got a cambridge. And her fine feathered friends, Esme and Tallulah. Esme and Tallulah are like family to me. Tallulah, you're going to eat it? He loves her, if geese love each other. <laughs> they have been mating rather vigorously. And it seems Esme's excitement has done more than ruffle Tallulah's feathers. He got on her to mate before she'd sort of got herself ready for him, and it hurt her leg. I don't know, this breeding carry-on's a bit of a pain, isn't it? And now, worried Tallulah might have a pain of her own, Lynn's brought her to Thirsk to see Sarah. Hi, Tallulah. Who isn't quite so giddy about geese? Don't give me such a nasty look. I wanted to make sure you were okay. Sometimes we get geese in and they're very grumpy. They bite you and they chase you and... They, they get your fingers. Yeah. Right, Tallulah. <laughs> She's going to eat me. <laughs> I need to take a look at your leg. As long as it doesn't attack my eyes, we'll be okay. Good girl, Tallulah. Please don't eat me. OK, I'll stop petting your head. No, yeah, that's not so bad, is it? What we're going to do is knock her out and get some x-rays to make sure there's no fractures there. Right, Tallulah, be a good girl. No fractures of those legs, so that's a good start. Hips look in place. We can't see any obvious fractures or dislocations. So what we'll do is we'll treat her with anti-inflammatories and strict rest. Perfect. Right, so I want to give her an injection underneath the skin, sort of in her groin area, if she'll let us. <laughs> yeah, she she's like... looking, she's like, no, <laughs> yeah. no, you're kidding. I've been very patient with you. <laughs> you're okay. So hold her firm. Please don't bite me, please don't bite me. It's going to bite me. Good goose. Make you feel better. Good goose. Good girl, Tallulah. That wasn't so bad, was it? You were very good. Ooh, should we put you back in your kennel? You're a good girl. This is little Dobby. He's Delilah's only son. The last two days, he's not gained weight. Um, this morning, he'd lost weight. He won't suckle. He's coughing, although he's quite active still. He's so tiny that he can nose die rapidly. Absolutely. You can see his breathing there is quite laboured, isn't it? There's certainly abnormal noises in there. The dangers here are that uh, we've got a pneumonia. We don't know how it's been caused yet. Not only has he been coughing, he's not put weight on. He's not taken any nourishment in. Three-week-old babies, uh, whether they're human babies, whether they're kittens, they do uh, go downhill very quickly. He's a fighter. He doesn't want yeah. me to look in his mouth, does he? No. He's got a very strong jaw there. Very strong. He's not lacking in energy, no. but it's not going to last long, I don't think, if no. we don't get anything in him. I mean, I'm hoping that I'm being hyper-cautious, but I think erring on that side is better than ignoring I, I a problem. I don't think you are being hyper-cautious, Helen. I, I think we just need to fight a bit harder, really, to, uh, to try and get things in check here. The other thing we've got to consider is the fact that he's still continuing to wee, lose body fluids if he's not taking anything in. It's a logical assumption that he's going to dehydrate. And so we're going to give him fluids under the skin and I'm going to give him anti-inflammatory. And then we're going to see him again um, in 12 hours' time. Oh, it's tasty, isn't it? I'm very concerned because this is almost certainly a pneumonia. The danger is that the pneumonia could worsen despite treatment uh, because the immune system is pretty weak at the moment. Um, at this age, Dob is very vulnerable and I do at this moment in time fear the worst. Right, he's coming back now, Delilah. Well, thank you, Peter. Well, so can, I, can, you, can you come to work now? Yes. I'll see you in the morning. Right. Thank you very much for your help. Well, all right. Thank you. All right. See you in the morning. Bye-bye.
After Lynn's pet, Tallulah, had a bit too much fun with life partner Esme, converted goose lover Sarah needs another gander at her lame leg. Right, she can go on the floor if we think we'll be able to catch her. Steady. Yeah, good girl. Steady. Oh, you, you show off. You're a bit cross. <laughs> Is she taking the medication okay? Oh, yes, yeah, she's had that on bread. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> Good girl. And look how well you're standing. She's completely strong on it now. Yes. Oh, Tallulah. Good girl. She says, look at my swagger. Oh, that's brilliant news. I'm so glad that she's walking so well. <laughs> she's being very obliging as well, showing us how well she can do things. <laughs> I'm really pleased with how well she's responded to treatment and how quickly as well. I think we need to get her back with her boyfriend because I think they're pining and geese, they do get so attached to each other. They just get lonely, don't they? Oh, yes. Right, little person. Don't let Esme do anything silly to you, okay? I don't want to see you again, even though you're lovely. Thank you very much. No problem. As I said, she's like the friendliest geese in the world. And back at home, Hello, my goose. Hello, my goose. The lovebirds are playing nicely. Oh, come on. Breakfast. Good girl, Tanula. Yeah. <laughs> They're getting on fine together. They're inseparable. I'm really happy that they are. I love seeing them pottering around together and doing normal, natural things. See you. <laughs>